guys, this is Mini Devan and you're watching HealthSite and India.com. Today we have with us health and fitness coach with Harvard certification in lifestyle nutrition, Navjot Kaur. Hi Navjot, how are you? I am good. Thank you so much Mini for having me here today. Thank you so much for joining us today as we all know that today is World Vegan Day. So Navjot, the very first question that comes to my mind is what exactly is veganism? Vegan as a term was coined in the middle of 1940s where people decided that they want to uh, stand against the brutality that happens to animals. Any form of animal produce was not to be consumed and hence the term vegan was coined from vegetarian. If you pick up the first initial letters and the last initial letters and combine them, it becomes vegan. So the only difference between vegetarians and vegans are that they do not even consume dairy and eggs rest of it all remains the same so any form of produce that comes from animals including honey for that matter uh, is not to be consumed and then you become a vegan that is veganism but uh, why Navjo, do you think suddenly veganism is the talk of the town because you know i think over last five to six years it's suddenly uh, you know a next level hype why do you think suddenly uh, there's so much talk behind this uh, it's not just uh, health related uh, reasoning um, we have to realize that we're in a world which is uh, digitally forward and we are becoming more and more aware of the global implications of any activity anything that we do within the world, uh, within our reach and with the technology advancement. Uh, veganism uh, as a diet is actually preferred surprisingly not just because of the health benefits that you get out of it but more so because of the ethical and the environmental reasons. So uh, if you ask me the difference between uh, the benefits that you get from being a vegetarian versus become a, becoming a vegan, uh, to be honest they're not extremely drastic. But yes, when you combine it with the ethical reasoning and the environmental implications of processing and producing animal meat, then you can understand the reason why people are pro-vegan because uh, then in a way you're trying to achieve a bigger reason uh, to uh, have a healthier, better world, have a very safe environment for our future generation as well. Uh, the kind of uh, processing that goes into creating animal produce uh, right from their rendering to making them available for consumption uh, takes a lot of industrial emission which hampers our overall global uh, environment and that, and that has a bigger problem uh, that can be resolved to a certain extent by eliminating the kind of reasons that make us produce that kind of meat. So veganism uh, is not a very personal reason. Uh, for some people it is if your body has a lactose intolerance as a reason or something like that which is like a personal uh, physical concern then of course it's it's not even a choice it's a necessity for you but otherwise if by choice you want to become vegan most of the times people's reasons are more on the ethical and environmental ground than uh, health grounds but you know uh, since vegan diet is supposed to be dairy free diet and from ages, like even from ancient times, we have heard that milk is, you know, beneficial for our body. It has multiple health benefits attached to it. So when one goes dairy free, what about all the, you know, nourishment that you get from the milk and what about all the nutrients that you're supposed to get from that? So that's a great question. Uh, you'll be surprised to know that uh, milk today that we have is highly processed. It's not the direct milk that you consume and also in itself, it's a complete meal. When we look at the nutritional aspects of uh, the benefits that you get from milk, you can easily get those nutritional aspects from other alternatives as well. Uh, of course, in its totality, uh, milk has a good content of fat, uh, it has proteins, it has a lot of minerals and vitamins, but that does not mean that you only get those uh, benefits from particularly milk you can get there from other produce also. So that does not limit your need or that does not become like an absolute necessity for you to have milk only 
to get those benefits it comes with its alternatives if you do not want to have milk uh, of course you can look for other options you have soy milk you have wheat milk you have other uh, almond milks and a, a lot of other options that are now becoming readily available for us also you have to understand that uh, milk in itself is acidic in nature so a lot of people complain about bloating a lot of people complain about gastric tendencies in their body some people have it higher compared to others so if a people leave milk or dairy out of their diet surprisingly people have seen benefits in terms of their digestions because uh, you are eliminating a factor that makes it difficult for your body to digest the food that you're consuming so hence people feel that it's actually a vegan diet that has helped them but uh, what they tend to forget is probably they are slightly lactose intolerant and hence the implications of uh, consuming milk on a constant basis were making their uh, body processing slightly difficult now that they've eliminated it it's worked in their favor so the way to look at it is a uh, not that you your since you've gone vegan and that has changed your body probably there were other internal factors that were not coming to the surface and once you've eliminated dairy from your diet your body started responding to it better but nonetheless uh, it does show its benefits but milk in itself is not or probably dairy for that matter let me cover all of it is not uh, an absolute necessity for you to get all the nutrients that dairy provides you any which means mm -hmm. also having said that uh, you know it's commonly heard that uh, having a vegan diet is pretty expensive which makes it difficult to switch to vegan so is it true actually no as i told you in the beginning of the interview uh, veganism is precisely eliminating dairy or eggs or honey or anything that comes from animal produce so rest of the food that you eat is actually a vegan food uh, all the lentils tofus all uh, the vegetables fruits that you eat on a daily basis which actually uh, sums up to be about 80% of your diet is vegan diet you can even have starchy carbohydrates like uh, rice wheat rice all of this is a part of vegan diet so just eliminating and switching your milk with which is dairy milk to soy milk or any other form of milk or almond milk is something that you feel is expensive but the only concern is people sometimes are too uh, in uh, too much fond of say cheese uh, paneer or stuff like that that is a uh, produce of milk and hence we feel that eliminating those foods and switching them with alternatives from uh, already processed alternatives that are available in the market is a uh, expensive bet but you can always produce those kind of alternatives within your house so if you buy uh, something uh, like an uh, like 250 grams of almonds and process that to make a milk at your place that will be at least 1 tenth cheaper than already bottled almond milk that you get in the market so it's all about creating that alternatives for yourself which is 100% natural uh, and any which way is 80% of the alternatives that you're anyways con consuming in your day to day life is a vegan diet so it, it is not very very difficult but uh, if you play it smart you can always do it in your budget Okay and uh, you know last but not the least anything that you would advise to our viewers anything that you would like to tell them why should they consume vegan diet or what are the benefits of vegan diet or you know how can one really make that choice because there's so much in the market today how can one really sit back and choose? so i think the the best way to look at it is not from the marketing perspective now we all understand that with the benefits of digital world and excessive information comes the downside as well a lot of people follow the trends as you already asked me in the beginning as well uh, blindly we should follow the trends but we should also educate ourselves if we want to follow what others are doing not every trend trend is bad but not every trend is meant for you and that's where lies the difference if you're somebody who is struggling with a lot of bloating who feels that uh, you are very uh, enthusiastic about saving the planet for the next generation if you have also in ethical alignment in terms of saving the animals and you really want to stand by the cause or you feel that your body uh, can feel better or you've been observing that your body reacts better to more uh, raw foods or uh, more uh, vegan items that are available in the list then then you should become a vegan uh, by choice 
for all these reasons not because it's in trend and definitely try uh, to avoid anything that's bottled and packed of the counters even if it's labeled as vegan because they come with upmarket cost and uh, if you really want to choose it for the ethical reason that may, then it makes all the more sense for you to produce all the options and alternatives of dairy within your house and of course every vegetarian otherwise feels quite content with the meals they have they are highly nutritious as well so there should not be a problem uh, but there are also alternate supplements available for the minor uh, improvements that you want to do with your health so uh, the choices should not be based on what people are doing but choices should be made on what direction you want to give yourself and then chart out a diet plan that's sustainable that fits into your ethical uh, beliefs and also your lifestyle and is in lines with giving you the complete nutrition that your body requires so it starts from within and then you uh, basically channelize your way to creating a lifestyle that works for you uh, 360 degree I think this has been great. Thank you so much for joining us today and you know audiences will go back home with lots and lots of valuable insights. So thank you for that. Thank you so much Vinny for having me here and happy vegan day to everybody who follows it. Uh I think information is prime. Uh, let's educate ourselves more and then make wise choices. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Thanks a lot.